Hello everyone, my name is Leila Khamash. I am a sophomore Pamplin Fellow and the chair of this year's Teacher of the Year Award Committee. Um, every year, the Pamplin Society of Fellows bestows the Teacher of the Year Award to one undergraduate faculty member who kind of goes above and beyond the duties and responsibilities of their position to enrich student learning. Um, every year, uh, the Pamplin Society holds a physical in-person banquet to kind of celebrate and honor the finalists and the Teacher of the Year. But unfortunately, due to COVID, we're not capable of doing that this year, and so we are producing a video instead. Um, we nonetheless did receive a huge number of very heartfelt letters of nomination. And as hard as, it, as the decision was, we did eventually come down to five finalists. And so the following clips are some videos and some things that students had to say uh, about those five finalists. And the teacher of the year will be announced by the end of the video. So please enjoy and thanks for watching. Tomi Sensei is an incredibly kind and helpful professor, and she provides her students with many ways to improve their Japanese. I speak from experience because she has reached out to me personally multiple times, checking in to see if I was doing okay both inside and outside of her class. She's offered to spend one day every week with me to make sure I succeed in her class, and she's even set me up with tutors that she thought would work well with me. She takes the time to learn about all of her students individually and what interests them, and she really cares about the well-being and successes of all of her students and she will go to great lengths to make sure we do the best we can. Elizabeth Bennett, as my faculty advisor, really encouraged me to try new things during my time here at Lewis and Clark. I initially wanted to go abroad to Spain, but Elizabeth encouraged me to try something new. So I ended up learning an entire new language and going to Italy for my sophomore year. In addition, Elizabeth's been my professor for the last few years. I've taken pretty much all of her classes, but really enjoyed social justice and the global economy. One of the first books we read was Modern Slavery, and my group ended up using that same book to create our final project, where we created a grant proposal to find ways to advocate for individuals in human trafficking and find innovative solutions to that problem. Elizabeth Bennett has really impacted my time here as a student at Lewis and Clark College. I've had her for the past couple of years in the International Affairs Department. I first had her when I took International Political Economy and I remember being really afraid to take that class because I've heard it's really hard. Um, but upon the first day in class, I realized how passionate she is about teaching and about really changing the world and helping her students find out how they can also change the world. I was inspired day after day, even attending an 8 a.m. class um, to come to class and be ready to engage with fellow students about issues such as inequality and how to make the world a better place. I want to nominate Mo Healy for Teacher of the Year. I just can't think of anybody who deserves it more. She is an incredibly compassionate person. Her response to meeting students where they were at during the pandemic especially was exemplary. Um, she's so passionate about the things that she studies, and she's not just knowledgeable, she knows how to teach that knowledge and how to make the research process an approachable thing for students no matter how much experience they have. And something that, you know, I hold dearly personally was that she read a draft of my honors thesis this semester and sat down with me for over an hour going over the most minute details on this draft and I think that that really exemplifies the lengths that she's willing to go to for her students to make sure that the work that they're doing feels important. Um, she's made me feel like an important person, an important student, an important academic, um, important voice and I think that she's just the perfect candidate for Teacher of the Year. She's so caring and she's so compassionate and patient with all the students. I had her last term and she stopped us um, one class and she asked us how we were doing mentally with COVID and she actually um, canceled our final and let us have extra time to work on our research paper. That really stuck out to me because she really listened to us and listened to how we were feeling rather than kind of just going along with the syllabus and with the course schedule that she had um, previously set. So I think if Maureen Healy did get the award, she would be really happy. And I look up to her both as a mentor and a professor. And actually next term, I'm rearranging my schedule to take one of her classes. So I think she should get the Teacher of the Year Award. She's just an amazing person and she's an amazing teacher. Hello, my name is 
Emily and I was asked to speak why I think Professor Philip Barron deserves Teacher of the Year Award. In the classroom, he's approachable, but still keeps a professional demeanor to create a sort of community of learning with his students. Uh, he introduces a diverse uh, and challenging set of content, uh, but prepares his students ahead of time so that they can all approach it calmly and without stress. While he provides the necessary tools uh, to teach the topic, um, he still covers a lot of bases uh, when it comes to each and individual uh, set of content and text. And then outside of the classroom, as a mentor, he often stays after class to talk to the students about their questions about the content or perhaps their own lives. And he makes, uh, he gives a chance for everybody to speak and always make sure that voices are heard while also keeping it on topic. Mike deserves to be Teacher of the Year because he genuinely cares about facilitating discussion and creating an environment that encourages learning. Um, he doesn't place as much priority on testing us or trying to trip us up. He genuinely just wants to create an environment where we feel like we can discuss and learn and grow. And he does this by allowing us to just speak our minds. He does an amazing job facilitating and helping us gather our thoughts and point us in new directions that we may not recognize, but he, he truly manages to be present in class while also allowing us to, the students, to primarily be the ones leading the discussion. Uh, Mike's class this semester has easily been my favorite class. Every single day is, is super fascinating and all the material he's picked has been interesting and I'm always excited to show up to each and every class because every time we have a discussion it's, it's insightful and meaningful and I learn a lot and get to connect with other people even through the difficulties uh, of online classes uh, that we're all facing. It was still exciting and interesting to go to class with Mike every day and he's always prepared, always on top of everything. He's just a great professor and on top of that he's a great guy. I know personally I, I needed some extra accommodations this semester and uh, I know a lot of people who did as well and Mike was always willing to work with us and always had our best interests in mind and uh, is just a great guy and a great professor and I think he should win Teacher of the Year. Without further ado, the winner of this year's Teacher of the Year award is Maureen Healy, Associate Professor of History. What really stood out to us as we were reviewing nominations is that Professor Healy has been such an empathetic voice for her students throughout the pandemic. And she's really been able to promote student learning and engagement during this time. We really wish we could congratulate you in person, uh, Professor Healy, but we are so honored to still be able to present this award to you virtually. And thank you so much for everything that you do for the Lewis and Clark community. Again, congratulations, Professor Healy, and also congrats to all the other finalists who made it. Um, thank you very much to every student who participated and submitted a letter or video of nomination. Um, and a final message to all our professors is that we really appreciate you. Thank you so much for all the work uh, you do for us and just keep doing what you're doing.